What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another Codmo video. So today we are going to be talking about the newest strong box that surprisingly came out on a Friday. So I don't know what's going on with their release schedule with draws and lucky boxes and just all this other stuff because you know they used to have a set pattern. Now they're just kind of like all over the place. This was something that I was expecting to actually get maybe on you know Sunday night or Tuesday or something like that. But no, we ended up getting the MSMC strong box pretty early on. So as you guys know, strong boxes are more or less a relatively new thing in this game. It's kind of like an easier version of the crates, a much more generous version because you could actually end up getting blueprints a lot easier given that there's, you know, four of the same type, of course, with different colors. We, of course, had this with the Swordfish, which, of course, that weapon had the very first set of strongbox items. And we also had the ICR, which was of last season. So with this one, we now have the MSMC. So this time around, we have, you know, four different colors. The colors are red, brown, uh, a darker shade of blue and a lighter shade of blue. The one that you're seeing right now is I think this is the Seraphic pattern. So, yeah, this is the lighter shade of blue. And if you guys notice, um, you know, the iron sight, of course, is different. But keep in mind, since all of those four are the same, you know, geometry, none of them are ever going to be any different from each other, only the difference in color. So the iron sight, I know a lot of people might have some issues with it. For me personally, I kind of like the iron sight. I really have no problem with them. Um, you know, they're pretty open, pretty, you know, easy to manage. I was assuming that it was going to be much worse, but no, this is something that is manageable. Is it the best one for the weapon? Obviously not. I mean, we have the legendary skin. We also have some, you know, I think there's like this mushroom one and this Halloween one that we got like a, a while back. Well, actually, probably a few years ago, which are actually very good. But this is, you know, I would say maybe average. But don't let the appearance fool you. It might look like a pretty decent skin, but there are some hidden details. So, for example... There is an animated uh, part to it. So as you guys remember, with the ICR skins that came out last season, they did have animations as well. Of course, the skin was kind of like a remake from the geometry. Of course, they painted it with a different color and they added some animation. So if anything, it was an upgraded version. But from, from what I know, I think this is more of an original skin. I have not seen any MSMC skin in the past that looked like this or anything. So I'm assuming, at least for this game, it might be original. Maybe there is some skin from COD Online that was there that was for the MSMC. But I, I don't know. I highly doubt that. But then again, there's a guy on Twitter that has been kind of like looking at some of the skins from that game. And they have actually discovered that there's a lot of blueprints that were based off of skins from COD Online. If anything, you'd be surprised by how much COD Mobile has actually taken from that game. So now it's time to talk about the camo coverage. So the camo coverage is actually pretty superb, I will say that. So when you do put any camo, whether it be Diamond or any of the regular completionists or the seasonal camos, uh, specifically the one I like the most is probably Making Waves. This skin is absolutely amazing all across the board for every single type of camouflage that you have. But I think just like the other past skins, like the ICR and Swordfish, I think depending on, depending on what color that you get, uh, some of them might look a little bit better than others. So since I have this blue one, obviously making waves or anything that's blue will look a little bit better. But of course, if you have the red one or the brown one, maybe red Sprite or, you know, blistering magma might do you a little bit better. But yeah, like overall, the seasonal camel coverage is just absolutely superb. I don't really have much else to say. I mean, this skin is absolutely amazing. I do want to say this as well. Like, you know, in the past, these strong boxes, at first, I was really skeptical on how they were going to go about these things. But overall, I've been really satisfied with the content that they've had. Um, as far as it goes with emotes, uh, the little frames, just anything that comes out of these lucky boxes is just... It's just it feels very satisfying to get these because they're very, very high quality. And that's something that I really wasn't expecting with these strong boxes. I also do like the fact that they're using the strong boxes mainly on the older weapons, you know, like the MSMC swordfish, you know, weapons that have been here since either the start or have made their way maybe a few years back. And I'm happy that, you know, most of these guns are actually getting, you know, the love that they need, even though they're not receiving buffs within these seasons it's still nice to see that they actually still care about the older type of guns 
maybe secretly they made these strong boxes generous to kind of entice people to use these, I guess, less meta related weapons. You know, I think honestly, that's actually a pretty good incentive. And, you know, as I was using the MSMC, I just, you know, I just realized its potential was actually pretty good. Of course, it's not, you know, growl or maybe switchblade levels of strong, but it's still pretty solid nonetheless. So anyways, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more Cod Mode content. I'll see you guys next time.